believe the Lord is bringing forth a remnant, a fire, that we're making people thirsty and we're making people hungry for the living God. Because we got to tell people, you know what? There's one true God, and that's Jesus Christ. It's not through the wind. It's not through the water. It's not through the trees. We serve one living God, and that's Jesus Christ. And there's only one way through the Father, and that's through Jesus. And it's all about the blood of Jesus. There is a heaven. There is a hell. And you either go into heaven, or you're going to bust hell wide open, and hell is hot. And sin is still wrong. That's what this world is looking for. They need to know that there is a real God that loves them where they are. And he needs the church to rise up and to love those people and say, you know what, I love you. But there's only one way to Jesus. There's only one way to Jesus. But he's building a remnant now, and you're a part of that remnant because you're all leaders. And he's going to empower you to be the hands and the feet of Jesus wherever you go. And you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of this world. And I believe the darker the day, the brighter the church of the living God is going to become. Amen. It's going to get dark. It's going to be bleak. But you know what? That is a time for the church to rise up and become the church of the living God with power and with authority and with anointing. We got to quit praying that, you know what? Revival's coming. Revival is here. Can I tell you, revival is here. It's here. We're seeing miracle signs and wonders all the time. And that says the revival is here. And the revival is in us. We got to just stir that gift up within us so we can bring forth revival. Amen? Being light in this dark world. The salt of the earth. But you know what can happen? If we don't release our past, if we don't release all this worry and fear and all these things that are holding us in bondage, if we don't leave it in the past, we can become that dim block of salt that I'm talking about. Now, who do y'all think that might be? Y'all say, it ain't me, is it? <laughs> it's not me, is it? Well, y'all remember the story of Lot? And when they were leaving Sodom and Gomorrah, how God said, don't look back. Well, what's the first thing that Lot's wife did? What did she become? I call her Lottie. <laughs> Lottie, Dottie, da. Lottie, Dottie, dee. She became a block of salt. And I encourage you, don't look back. Get over what's over. It's in the past. Your destiny is in the future. It's not in the past. God's got great plans for you, but you know what? Unless you release your past, you can't move on to your destiny and what God has for you. Don't become a statue of what God, how God could have used you. He could have used you so mightily, but you couldn't get rid of the bitterness. He could have used you mildly, but you couldn't get rid of that offense. He could have used you mildly, but you wouldn't do what he called you to do because you had so much fear and guilt and regret. Don't become a statue of what you could have been for the kingdom of God. 